Hi, my name is Hartnan. Uh, remember the last video I uh, said that I'm having difficulties because uh, water high on my uh, fish tank is very high and it's only about 7 inches, yeah, 6 to 7 inches from the grow bit. And I'm figuring out what to do and how to make a siphon outlet so that they have sufficient aeration. And uh, I'm testing this uh, particular design and so far it's been working fine, aerating and cutting off the siphon uh, quite well. Okay, let's see the siphon action now. It's going to happen any moment. Okay, you can see the bubbles. It's, it's very silent and it's giving a sufficient aeration. If the water level uh, go down due to evaporation, uh, this system is still works and give even more aeration. And it still maintains the silent or silencing of the aquaponic outlet. It's been hot now. Uh, evaporation is quite high. You can hear the burp at the end, and uh, it's uh, coming from the top of the grow bed and also coming from the bottom. And let's pull the attachment out and see how I did it. Okay. Right, here is the attachment that I hook up to the end of the siphon outlet. And let's see how it's made. Let's just disassemble it. Okay, what I did is to use a T joint. 25 mm or one inch T joint, depending on your location. This is a adapter. Uh, this is a 20 to 25 adapter with a bit of uh, 25 mm uh, pipes. Then I have a 15 millimeter PVC pipe. So roughly around four inches. It depends because you have to measure how much to cut. Uh, cut a diagonal to make the aerator tip or tongue, or somebody call it aerator uh, tongue. Uh, end cap, 15 millimeter end cap. Jam it in here and drill a hole for the breeder. The whole idea is to have the uh, aerator tip inserted inside this. T joint to make an aerator or agitator at that location. Okay, you can hold it with a sponge, you can hold it with a screw or whatever. But uh, I have a, a few of this, so I use this to hold it in. Okay, so the, just put it in. Make sure it's roughly center and put in right you can see the agitator or the tongue is in there rotate it so that you can have it like this it's facing the water in uh, inflow so that it will disturb the air uh, the water flow and aerate through this particular hole and this depends how long you want it you can have it right to the bottom of the tank no problem and just 
fill it there. So that's the whole assembly. Then attach it to the end of the siphon outlet. Vertically, something like like this. Okay. And uh, one thing good is that I can rotate this, and you can see that the the tongue can change its profile with respect to the water. Uh, during my experimenting, uh, while the siphon is running, I rotate this, and this is the best position. The one that's facing um, the back, facing the water flow, is the best position. You can experiment and see how much bubble it will produce. So this is a good way to test it, and I put some markings here so that when I install it, I can know where exactly the aerator tank or the agitator is located. Uh, right now, the, the marking is all not in alignment anymore, but and then uh, no problem. I'm going just to mark it with um, uh, waterproof uh, pen and install it. Right. I'm going to test this for the next few days, and if it's successfully doing the aeration, silencing the aquaponic outlet plus cutting off the siphon without problem, then I will build the three more and put it into all my grow bed. Then I do not have any more problem with uh, high water level and uh, I do not need to drain the tank anymore. Otherwise, uh, I have to constantly wash the tank so that uh, I need to uh, drain it to ensure uh, siphon is not compromised. Okay. Bye.